Hi, this is Dan from userspice.com. I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I want to start a new series called Debugging with Dan. My thought behind it is that if you were to um, be learning how to code with Userspice, maybe seeing my mistakes, maybe seeing how I fix the mistakes, seeing the process may help some people. So since I have to do it, I figured I might as well record it. Um, to let you know how I begin the process, I always want to make sure that I am starting from the same code that you guys are starting from. And so I always come right here and download user spice just like you would. So I have plenty of videos of me downloading and installing user spice. I don't really need to do that, but I just want you to know that I kind of dog food my own thing. I download the version that you guys use and I start building my next version off of that code. So basically let me show you what's going on here. If you go to um, localhost in my case, and then I do I install it in US 414, um, what's going on here is that if I log in and do admin and password, everybody has, we have our users, and each of these users has a bio. So when I come to my account um, and I see my public profile, this is the admin's bio. By default, when you add a new user, and I come to the user base thing here, I get that these users automatically have a bio. So if I come, just a quick way to see that is to come into the database and see that if I go to, um, what is it, profiles, that any user created automatically gets a default bio and their user ID inserted in here. The problem comes in that when I use this new feature where you can manually add a user I didn't think to create that person a bio and so part of the problem is I wrote this code in the back of a moving vehicle in Alaska bouncing around and my brain just was not working so if I were to go Bobby 14 and I don't know why I always use Bobby but this is Bobby and then put in Bob Bob at AOL.com, password, password, and create that user, then the user creates fine, but when you come back here to the um, profile page, they don't automatically have a profile. And so we're going to fix that real quick. It's not a big bug, but I just kind of figured we'd start off with something easy. So we're going to go into the code, and we are going to go to... <clears throat> We're going to go to adminusers.php, and I'm going to show you what's going on. My monitor is blown up really big for the video, so I'm getting a little used to that. Uh, when you scroll down here, you can see what's going on is that you might see some code from a future video. I'm actually having to re-record this video because uh, I messed it up. But anyway, so when you come down here and you see that uh, manually add user you see that let's see here we're getting through all the validation stuff there's a query that inserts the user and so I'm going to show you how this works so what we've got going on here is that we are inserting the above information into the database into the user table we're inserting the fields that we define above but what we need to have happen is we need to know what that user ID is so that we can make sure that the user ID gets strewn across all the database tables and is the right one. There's no way to predict that. So what we have is a special feature called DB last ID and basically what that's going to do is go back to this query and find out what ID you got back when you inserted that. And so I've defined that as the new ID and I'm using that down here as I add the, per the person to the um, to the permissions table then I'm using the new ID and so that's happening down here I'm adding them into the user permission matches and I'm using the new ID to make sure that works but I never did that with the profile and so what we're going to do we're just going to add another query we're going to add db insert and then we are going to insert into the profiles table and what I need to insert if you come back here and look what I need to insert is the user ID and their default bio. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to 
make a bracket and we're going to put user ID for the user ID table and then we're going to do the hash rocket <coughs> excuse me and we're going to put in the new ID and then we're going to put a comma and then for the bio we're going to do another hash rocket and we're going to put this is your, we'll put this is the bio just so you can kind of see that it's different than the other one that was put in and we've got our closing quote, got our closing bracket, our closing parentheses and semicolon and save this junk and now what you're going to see happen is that the bio if you come here and look it's nice and neat where the user ID and the ID is lined up but that doesn't have to be the case in case something breaks we define the user ID separately and in this case something broke so I'm kinda glad we did that so now when I come here and I refresh the page it's fine I might make another one um, I'm gonna refresh the page and now I'm gonna make Bobby 15 Okay, now I'm going to manually add this user, and we have a an error on line 131, and that's why this is debugging with Dan. So admin users line 31, there's constant. So I must have forgotten. If it says constant, undefined constant, that means I almost definitely forgot the dollar sign. So we're going to look in here and undefined con. Yep, no, the new ID bio. Let's see here, 131 DB insert make sure these two look similar this is the table profiles comma then user ID oh, that should have been in quotes that's the problem so save that and this is why we're debugging with Dan and we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna come back here we did create Bobby 15 but just to make it right we're gonna do it again we're gonna do Bobby 16 I might keep hitting Bobby 165. I know this isn't my normal keyboard. I think I got the password right. Nope, didn't. So now I've created Bobby 16. Now when we come to the database, you're going to see that starting here, we have the users are being created with their bio and notice it says this is the bio and it lets you show that these are the ones that were created by the database so you can see that it doesn't matter that these IDs line up um, as I goof around and create users and delete users the user ID is going to go up but this is going to put them in an order so anyway that's a simple bug fix just wanted you to see how that worked um, just to kind of show you real quick the way the DB insert query works is that it essentially needs to know it needs to know what table you want to put it in and what fields you want to put in so a lot of times you'll notice that I'll do a fields as a database or as an array and so like in this situation I created an array of all these things to make it neater uh, since there's only two you don't really have to do that but just to make my query neater up here I define fields fields is an array of the username, first name, last name password where it's hashing the password the permissions the account so I made this array up here in a really neat easy way to read and then just said come down here and insert fields uh, but because it's only two I just went in here with the hash rockets and made it that way so I hope that helps hope that explains a little bit about how I fixed my screw ups